That day, the state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the seventh session of the second convocation of National Assembly of Western Armenia, President of Khramort returned home, head of the village. The Council of Europe called on Turkey to recognize the genocide of Armenians and respect the obligation to protect the Armenian heritage. The Bundestag deputy sees the need to find a political solution to the Artsakh conflict. Burakis municipality assures the planned turn and power will not be built. Today is the day of memory of hero of Artsakh, Vladimir Balayan. The talented French Armenian single will take part in Khatan social concert. The seventh session of the second convocation of National Assembly of Western Armenia was held on May 28. The meeting was attended by deputies of Western Armenia, the president of Western Armenia, Armenak Abramian, and members of the government. The meeting was chaired by the NA president, Nelly Harutunyan. With a minute of silence and after the performance of the anthem of Republic of Western Armenia, Zartnir Lau, the chairman of National Assembly of Western Armenia, Nelly Harutunyan, presented the preface of under the day of the session. At the beginning of the session, MPC Simon Taronyan introduced Western Armenian citizens, Asadur Balkans, as a candidate for deputy, who was unanimously elected as a member of National Assembly after submitting the signatures of 30 citizens of Western Armenia. Asadur Balkans was born in a city of Dersim in Western Armenia. He led various public organizations. Currently, he is a representative of Armenian platform Dersim in Dersim. At the same time, heads the culture magazine Armenian Dersim, dedicated to the same platform, and is also the editor in chief. Western Armenia congratulates the newly elected MP and wishes him fruitful work. In the next item of the agenda, the NA speaker presented to the Commission of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, namely Legal Committee, Committee of Veterans and Disabled People and Patriotic Public and Community Organization, Committee of Foreign Relations and Parliamentary Relations with other countries, Committee on National Culture, Art and Heritage, Traditional Knowledge, Committee for the Management of Educational, Scientific, Commercial and Information Resources. Sources, Committee for the Development of Economy, Finance, Environment and Energy, Committee on Family, Women, Health, Children and Sports, Committee of Defense, Security and Emergency Situation, Council of Internal Affairs, Parliamentary Commissions on Communication and Ethics, Committee of Communication, Genocide and Compensation. During the next news releases, we will periodically present reports and speeches made at the seventh session of Second Convocation of the National Assembly. According to the headman of the village of Khramor, Zorik Abraman, about 25% of residents, including women and children, have already returned to their homes. The residents come little by little, looking at each other. The village has already become like a village. People cultivate their gardens, shed their husks, and do their daily work. We must be sure that the safety of people is fully assured. It is true, we also have positions. Russian peacekeepers have strong points in the village, but in any case, if something happens, who will answer? In Karaguluk, in any case, the situation is the same. The enemy is still there, says the village headman. On June 7th, the European Parliament adopted a report on Turkey in which it called on the country to recognize the genocide committed against the Armenians to respect its commitment to the protection of the Armenian culture heritage. The report adopted by 448 votes in favor, 67 against, and 107 obsessions touched upon the latest efforts aimed at a settlement of Armenian-Turkish relations. The Council of Europe referring to the resolution adopted by the structure on April 15, 2015 in memory of the victims of genocide of Armenians was again called on Turkey to recognize the genocide of Armenians and fully respect its obligation to protect the Armenian and other cultural heritage. The 17th paragraph of the report notes that the Council of Europe welcomes the adaptation of the Turkish authorities of a new human rights action program in March 2021. Although a number of problems remain unresolved, they call on the Turkish authorities to step up their efforts to effectively address the housing and education situation of courts, Armenians and in particular the Roma community. The 42nd paragraph welcomes the recent rapprochement between Turkey and Armenia regarding this decision to conclude bilateral agreements, appoint special representatives and resume flights between the two countries, and call on EU to actively contribute to this process, and once again call on Turkey to recognize the genocide of Armenians. 
In an interview, Sarman Press Mansman noted that Germany contributes to the efforts of OSC Minsk Group in a negotiation on the Artsakh conflict. As a member of Minsk Group, Germany supports the efforts of Minsk Group co-chairs in negotiation on a settlement of Artsakh conflict, also taking into account the military clashes between Armenia and Azerbaijan that began in 2020 and continued until November. Germany believes that it is necessary to find a political solution to the conflict. After the clashes, Germany provided humanitarian assistance in an amount of 2 million euros at a level of international organization of the Red Cross. No matter how hostile the relation between Turkey and Armenia may be, we are faced with the reality that both Armenia and Turkey are becoming more interconnected in the context of globalization. Armenia should remain open to the development of peace and trade, Mansman said. The Burakan Regional Administration of Occupied Western Armenia has issued a written statement on the construction of the thermal power plant in a village of Khalfan in the Korlova district of Bingel province, where it was claimed that it will not be built. According to the provincial administration, it was planned to extract 78 million tons of coal. The statement reads, the use of 78 tons of coal in Karlova province will be carried out on a competitive basis without creating a thermal power plant. Inventories in the mentioned area can be be extracted in an open way and a delivery will be carried out by conducting a contract with the operator winning the tender in accordance with the provisions of the contract and technical conditions. The purpose of the competition is not to create a thermal power plant but to use coal in the interest of economy. Western Armenia cannot be indifferent to these similar events, therefore it raises its vote against the illegal use of natural sources in its own territories. Vladimir Balayan was born in 1958 in a village of Mohratak in the Martaket region, who served in the Soviet army. In 1985, he worked in the Martaket forestry. When the peaceful rallies of Artsakh movement were placed by armed struggle, Vladimir was the commander of the detachment on the first line. He was the commander of the Artsakh front of the Liberation Army. He participated in defense and liberation battles of different regions. He only twice participated in the liberation of Martaket by his detachment. Together with Commander Leonid Alsgadian and Chief Estrella, Dr. Armenak Abrahamian, he participated in defensive and liberation battles in various regions. He was participating in the liberation of Martaket by his detachment. He died on June 9, 1992, in the trenches of Chailu village. He was posthumously awarded the Combat Cross Order in the first degree and for the Courage Medal. On August 31, 1920, on the occasion of 20th anniversary of the proclamation of Artsakh Republic, Vladimir Balayan was posthumously awarded the highest title of Artsakh hero for his exceptional service services, courage and personal bravery in organizing the defense of Artsakh public, being awarded the Golden Eagle Order. Khatan is a program developed and implemented by the Swiss Humanitarian Foundation Casa. It aims to promote existing social enterprises and promote the birth and growth of new programs. Currently, the program operates in Armenia and Artsakh. Anaid is a talented French singer of Armenian origin. He immediately expressed her support for this initiative. She successfully participated in a voice song competition. You can learn more about Anaid in the first issue of magazine Anahide, which is published in France in different languages and is published every two months. In a magazine Anahide, you can get acquainted with a lot of interesting facts, as well as with the events in and around Western Armenia. Now musical part, Armenian song, Hobi Vasarerum Tahret. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.